Uh, feel free to harass Nurkic. Feel free to harass the hell out of him, even if it's just uh, completely off base. Yeah. I, I just heard Chris. Hey. There's two of them now. I'm sorry. I'm next to my uh, computer. I'll move away from it. Instead. No, it's not. Just put on headphones. I'm using my cell phone for this conversation. This is the first time I've ever done this. Sorry. Oh. You can't tell. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to boot <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, this one, there are I, two I, of you I in here. Jump on my cell phone, there would be no problems. Yeah, sometimes there isn't a problem. Why are there two of Chris on the chat? Well, I just got rid of I'm one on, of them. I'm on my computer, and it's making an echoing sound because it, it's copying everything I say because it's listening to you and to me at the same time because I'm also on my cell phone, and it's also doing the same thing. What kind of cell phone do you have, Chris? An LG. Okay. And L what's an LG? Is that like a... Uh, it's a track phone. Oh, okay. Uh, Chris, and are you going to be... I uh, don't hear any echo, do you? Chris sounds like a regular caller to the Bob Grant show. <laughs> I don't know what the Bob Grant show is, but it's funny. That was a good reference. Uh, Chris, are you a first time, uh, are you a first -time caller and long time listener? Uh, I've been on here a while. My, I've been on a while. I've been watching you guys for months, and I've been ha I'm happy to see that you guys are fighting for comics and not making sure the SJWs don't ruin everything. They're just infecting everything like a freaking virus. They are. They, what kind of virus are they? I think they're like the crabs, actually. <laughs> they're not a virus. <laughs> like a case well, of the I'd crabs. Well, I say whatever they are, it, uh, if you don't get rid of them, the patient will die. Well, that's not crabs, then. Cecil, has anybody ever died of crabs, of pubic lice? Um, I hope not. That's a bad way to go. <laughs> I love that you asked Cecil <laughs> that. <laughs> I feel like he would know. I don't know. Cecil probably keeps track. I well, he uh, didn't know. He didn't know what lot lizards were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, I always you... wash up at, in a puddle after I deal with a lot lizard. Oh God, <laughs> Chris, uh, what do you think of women that clean themselves in puddles? <laughs> in truck stops. Let's get and to the, the real. Hell? Let's get to the it real. Depends. How uh, how hot are they? They're not hot. Listen, what kind of hot woman cleans herself in an oil slicked puddle uh, outside of a truck stop, <laughs> crouches down and splashes it upwards up her Filled skirt? With bugs. I mean, no, that is. I guess I'm again. That's a rainbow. That's a rainbow puddle. That's rainbow bright. Oh God, it is a <laughs> rainbow. Yeah, you just have to picture the puddle uh, in question. God, there's probably a well, bottle yeah. cap or two sitting in it. Oh. I think antifreeze may be in there, too. A yeah. dead roach. <sighs> Makes oh, me miss great. my mom. That's a great image. Now I'm on the <laughs> well, if I say if it were anyone in my own family, uh, well, we'd probably uh, take them out back and shoot them. Wait, you have lot lizards in your family? Well, not really, but a lot of us could, a lot of my family could be considered, considered on the hefty side, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so, <laughs> so what's the plan here? Are you uh, are you going to be a comic book artist? Yeah, I am. I have planned out. My comic book is called Scum Dogs. It's going to be a parody comic of a. Uh, I'm taking all the stuff that everyone likes about the GI Joe and stuff like that. Well, sort of. The main character is a uh, Death Mug. And he's got. Uh, he's the head of an evil organization. And well, he's basically just an idiot with a with a skull for a face. So what happens is that he used to be an athlete, athlete and stuff. Then he got banned for uh, banned for his sports. So he decided, uh, well, where else is an egotistical athlete supposed to go? You know, uh, mm -hmm. one of those uh, go. So he decided, oh well, if I can't do this. I might as well just rule the world. It's a lot better. It sounds like that. See, what it's, I'm having it's a perfect is, replacement for Nasser, by the way. Yeah, I, mean, I, I like this guy way better than Nasser. Way better than Nasser. Nasser, you're fired. <laughs> See, uh, I just sent John Mill in the link, by the way. John wants in. So, John, welcome. You know, grab the link out of your DM. Uh, Chris, that sounds very interesting. I like your idea. Uh, I like the idea 
of someone just being like, oh, well, I might as well rule the world. I've had that thought many times. First thing. How he does it. Is, have, have you ever watched G.I. Joe, the original series? Yes. All right. Now, you know the twins on it, how they're basically like Cobra's uh, public face? Yeah, they're Australian. How, I know. The, those two <laughs> twin guys. Who, the other guy feels the pain. It always made no sense to me how those guys could basically, well, G.I. Joe constantly sees them, and yet they are still somehow able to walk around free and stuff like that. Wear suits. Wear suits. Right, right? Yeah. My idea was that, the, was that this another character who I call Breasty Melons, she's basically a parody of, a, of the Baroness and the Twins. She runs a company and stuff like that. She, she basically, one of those super mega rich rich moguls and stuff like that. She basically mm -hmm. ends up buying one of those secret evil organizations. Yeah. Station, but she can't really run that organization because she'd be arrested. See, this is where Death Mug comes in. She basically decides to give her him the organization and basically he runs it, but uh, she basically uh, basically can use them as use them to, uh, want to well, launder money and stuff like that. She'd launder the money that she would get from him. She'll, um, she'll help them with their office because she can't really be seen seen helping anything out with a bunch of criminals. See, this well, her, is name's she are, she are breasty, her name is Breasty Melons? Are you a high yeah. school principal? I wanted to call it this of the SJWs. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I think this is fantastic. I think this is the best idea I've ever heard, and I've heard a lot of ideas. Uh, you know, I mean, most I love of them it. come from Donald DeLay, uh, but uh, this is better than every idea Donald DeLay's ever had. And so I would... Uh, <laughs> I came for the breasty, and I stayed for the melons. Yeah, me too. I, I'm interested in learning more about breasty melons uh, as a way to own the SJWs. I can't stand these SJWs. Yeah. I like the well, name. That, 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 that will get them livid. His original name was Akachi Jojo. He's a cyborg from Kenya. Kenya. He was a. He's a, basically a runner, an Olympic level runner. But he became a cyborg. All of the best runners are from Kenya. Did you know that? That's what I heard from racists. Yes. No, no, no. From marathon winners. Oh, yeah. I'm not a racist. See, what I, I, have, I combined him with the idea that. That, uh, the how a popper how a bunch of popular uh, sports stars are all arrogant and stuff like that. If you, yeah, I can point directly to the NFL with all, everyone doing this bowing thing and uh, taking a knee and stuff. Like that. I decided, what if I took someone like that and he had a really bad day day and stuff, and he decided, well, I'm I'm not getting anything out of this. I might as well, might as well just take over the world. So That's what I always say. I just canceled my Brutus the Badass. Where do I send the money for this? Uh, <laughs> as I start it up. So he gets well. The other characters who are going to join. Well, other characters are going to join. I want to say them while I wrote. Is while Breasty I Melons a woman or a man? A woman. She basically <laughs> bought an evil organization, <laughs> but she uh, can't really use it. But she ended up with the when, who came with that evil organization. Everyone else basically she fired, but she kept the doctor, who I call Death Metal Doctor. He's basically what you get if you uh, crossed Go to Osborne that doctor with that name. Why would you go to Doctor Death Metal? Why would you go I there? I would say clear because he likes screaming, screaming, "Oh yeah!" and playing a guitar as he's doing surgery on you. Right. It, well, okay. Now, now I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like them, you're going to love, love Murder Mouth and Sloppy. Uh, how basically those are the other uh, characters murder mouth and sloppy yeah the one guy is one of the is uh one of those have you ever seen a lot of british comedy how they'll have a punker guy who is a big who's uh yeah that was the state uh, the state sarcastic young ones person. too young ones yeah that's he'll, he'll be a nihilist well uh yeah this uh, he's basically just a seven foot guy with a giant row of teeth and and with Motley, with uh, have you ever seen Snake from Motley Crew? Is yeah, that so Murder Mouth? <laughs> Doug Mouth, Doug to Murder Mouth sounds like a good name. For, <laughs> Murder Mouth is a good name for a lot lizard. Yeah, that probably would be. And then there's Sloppy. He's basically just a shape shifting blob of goo who goes around eating people. 
who just who who basically ends up well. He'll end up behind you, and you'll look behind you. He'll say sloppy, and then you'll end up hearing crunching noises. Well, Decent. other people hear crunching noises. You'll probably just hear <laughs> as his, his jaw comes down your head. <laughs> oh, well, Chris, some- I like your ideas, uh, and I uh, just don't want you to hurt me. Uh, I, <laughs> my <laughs> anonymity has never been more important to me. Uh, I, but I want you to know uh, that I like your ideas. It does sound pretty good. I think you need a, my, the one thing you need is a good editor. Where good do editors. I send my money? Is what I want to know. I haven't started this. I, I basically nearly finished the first issue with all the pencils. Are you stuff. on Twitter? I'll send you my personal information. I want you to call me as soon as it's ready. Hmm. I want to see a page. Do you have any? Well, I got a couple of pages up on my Twitter, but they're basically uh, they're they're colored and stuff like that. But they're basically the first. Ad- What's the, your Twitter uh, handle there, good buddy? <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, let me go see that. Uh, uh, I want uh, Sashi to draw Breasty Melons right now. Sashi, uh, your job is to draw Breasty McMelons. Did you see her cover of Patriotica with a girl breaking out of that shirt? It's fantastic. Oh, it is. It is. Yeah. She's doing. People are worried about her uh, doing my avatar. She is working on my avatar right now, guys. So don't don't you worry. I did pay for it, and I'm waiting. Hopefully, she makes your excited about this project. Mouthing the microphone. Mm -hmm. So what's what's your handle on Twitter, there, Chris? It's at seven 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 mega chris one. Chris, you are the best. I'm thrilled to have met you. I thank you for your $100 super chat. I hope you felt it was well spent. Thank you for your time pitching your comic. Uh, it was nice to meet you, and we're glad to have you in the audience, Chris, in the audience. Uh, and that is where I return you. Uh, thank you so much. Anything else that you would like to say? What is it again? 777? It's at, at 777-MEGA-CHRIS-1. Okay. By the way, it's a I'm pleasure to be following you very closely. Mark, okay. thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you too, Chris. I return you from once you came. Thank you so much. Have a great night, my friend. Okay. One more thing. How do oh. I contact you guys again, or do I just how do I join this? Do I just join? Oh, this? I'm following you now. You could DM me. I'll give you all of Ethan's uh, telephone numbers. And well, I, 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 don't, <laughs> I mean, you know, this is a great thing that I did join you guys tonight. Have a great time, and thank you for saying all the help. Hey, you're hey, you you're good, Chris. Have a great night, my friend. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, Chris had an enthusiasm. You know, the thing about Chris uh, is that he had ideas. Clearly, he had a lot of ideas, and he's uh, excited about them. And, you know, I'm glad he got to share them tonight. It's not easy to get on live with a bunch of people, uh, a bunch of comics pros like me and John Malin and, you know, uh, Narwhal. And (laughs) I'm no pro. (laughs) And Cecil. Uh, but he did it anyway. Uh, he did it. He, I, I'm picking on Donald tonight because tonight's <laughs> Donald's night. Uh, but he did it anyway. He did a good job. Fresh melons is what the kids called me in school when they were picking on me. <laughs> Presty, me- I, I'm sorry, but is Breasty Melons a man or a woman? Was the funniest line of the night. I, I was I was chewing on a toothpick and I spit it across the room. I think I uh. <laughs> <laughs>